Hi everybody, Dr. Hutchinson here. Just wanted to let you know that I'm really excited about everything that you do now in the presentation. I have um, seen that many of you have been very stretched and um, it, it has been really a ple pleasure to watch how God is developing your understanding of immigration and um, what that means in practice. And I think that whole process of actually putting it to practice will, will make a difference for you. Um, one of the areas, of course, is whether or not you impart your you know, biblical view on your clients and how you do that in such a way that they, um, you know, they benefit, but you are not um, forcing you know, a belief system on them that is um, just not a part of you know, who they are or their worldview. You've all seen that it's important that you, I would say your counseling is almost as strong as your own personal walk. So if you're not walking closer to the Lord, then your immigration is not going to be as strong because you're not um, you know, building up your own self first before you try to build up a, um, another believer. Um, let's see, my papers. Let me just say this, when I grade a paper, the first thing I do is open up your paper. So for instance, I opened up your journal article today. Then I will open up journal articles and I will look to see whether or not you have incorporated the feedback I've given you in your goals of contact and handout to see whether or not you've uploaded the first paper or that you've learned from feedback. And I would have to say that by many of you, that is evident that you've not opened your first journal article after it being your turn to read. And that is kind of discouraging because this is graduate school and so when this paper is returned to you, I have the expectation that you are going to read my feedback and then you're going to look at some future papers. So it's, it's evident that in the um, basic format of immigration, I'm being challenged and you need to change that. Um, I need you to look at the uploaded papers, but not just for fun reading, guys. I give you substantive feedback. I want you to be challenged. I, I add questions. I, I give you um, ideas as to how to um, maybe communicate um, what you're trying to say a little bit better. In regards to content, let's just start with the summary. The summary is the summary of the program. I mean, how many times do you want me to give you a, a really scholarly review of the article and read the text? I want to see you cite often, but not quote often. I want your ideas to be in there, but I do not, um, I do not want to see his ideas just rewritten. So I need you to uh, give me a thoroughly concise summary. In regards to the reflection or the concrete response, I want to see a lot of you in there. I want to see how you're integrating what you're learning with what you know or believe and giving a, um, a source to back up what you believe. Or how it's maybe there's cognitive dissonance because you've now believed something for so long and now you're not going to believe that it's different. So I give you ideas, I give you thoughts, I give you views, but I want to see you give me a reflection. And the reason that's important is because you reflecting on this article or this text and how it impacts you, in the same way that individuals in your counseling sessions are going to be reflecting on how things in their life have impacted them, and I think that will help you, if you can do it, maybe that can help you to get in their shoes and understand a little bit more about that person. Finally, in the application and uh, the action section of the two papers, um, the application of the journal article, I want to see you really apply that on a regular basis. Say, for instance, if it was the Forgiving Communities article, that you actually act as a counselor or a um, advisor to a pastor or a ministry and help them with the impact of Forgiving Communities. Or if it's self-forgiveness, in this section, I want to see how you've dealt with self self-forgiveness, and then I want to see you actually walk a client through a session with a counselor and help them to develop self-forgiveness based on the article. So that's
that's what I'm looking for in these papers. Um, and you did a review of the rubric. Everything that I look at is on the rubric. Don't miss it. Take your rubric out. Put it at the end of your paper before you give it. Look over your paper. Make sure it's your just review as your rubric. That's what I'm looking for. And then go ahead and submit it. By adding it to the end of your paper, it helps me. But it also helps you because it's going to give me an opportunity to go ahead and look at the paper and make sure that everything is there so everybody at the very end is left undeserving of the review or summary. Friendly plagiarism. Too many high similarity scores. I'm not just talking about because of the rubric. I look over every single thing, every single one, and I assess whether or not there are similarities with something that I see over there. There are five or six people who did that. Plagiarism, two or three, and all my courses actually were plagiarized. Um, I need you to not look at any other sources. If this college would take that, you have to type it in front of you, you have to add a company name, rewrite re it, put in the summary, and then give your own experiences. Do not go to any other. It's just too much effort, too tempting to look at all those um, other ideas. Just trust yourself, trust your graduate ability, and let the paper I look forward to seeing many more sent papers. Hopefully there's no formatting issues. I've given a lot of feedback on here. But it's still in the free form. Don't miss those. And if you follow the rubric completely, you'll have them ready as well. So I'm looking forward to those. Thank you so much for this semester. It's been really great. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And um, I'll be moving out to the States actually in a couple of weeks. So. I um, actually will be moving during the time that I'm supposed to be grading all of the papers. So hopefully I'll have them all in and have enough grades for all my kids. So again, take care and uh, we will talk to you on the discussion board.